special meaning for you or not? Uh, I mean, it would in high school if I'd have made it there. Uh, it would have had special meaning. But right now, I mean, it's another game going on the road. Uh, always fun. Uh, knowing, knowing this environment, knowing uh, the Superdome, knowing how their fans are going to be, the intensity, the atmosphere. I'm excited to go in there just with my team, uh, the brotherhood we have, and us against the world mentality. How much family you got coming to the game? Uh, I really don't know, to be honest, the exact number. Um, 50. No, nah, so, I mean, I don't know. They buying their own tickets. It's 50. <laughs> I don't know about how many, that. How many tickets you buying? Uh, I got a few of them. I got like 10 or so. I mean, I have, I have not too many people necessarily come to me for it, so I don't know who all plans to go, but I got a couple in case they get asked. The Saints defense has struggled in the passing game. Uh, does that alleviate pressure for you guys offensively? Uh, alleviates pressure? A little bit. <laughs> nah, I mean, we put pressure on ourselves. Uh, we don't worry about necessarily what guys or what teams have done in the past, their stats, their numbers. Obviously, it's respectable. It gives you something to look at. Um, but for us, it's about going there, being the best we can, uh, just getting better and taking another step in this passing game. Uh, and this is just the team that we're going to play. Yeah, guys, a competitor, does it bum you out at all when someone like Drew is out? Uh, I mean... I look up to Drew. I mean, Drew's somebody that I've always followed his career and the way he handles himself on and off the field and obviously the player that he is. Uh, so seeing Drew out, period, uh, bums me. Um, yeah, wish he was there. Wish him all the best in getting healthy uh, and getting back. Obviously, this team focused on the, on the game, but being able to go back to your home state, is it important to take a moment to soak it up? I'm sure maybe when I'm on the field uh, and think back to the high school days, the, the what-if moments that uh, if you made it to the state championship, that's where you play. But um, it's the next game. Uh, it's the next game for me. What kind of uh, pass rushing, uh, pass rush do they pose compared to the teams you play for this game? Uh, I mean, you look at the offensive line we have, I'll put them up against anybody. Um, and i probably put them up against a Pro Bowl roster, to be honest with you. So uh, I don't necessarily look at that or worry about that or let that creep in the back of my head that these guys, uh, they have this guy or that guy, but they're good, respectively so. They're good. Numbers show it. You turn on the film, you show it. Team that plays hard. Um, or guys up front, they get after it. Uh, but I'm going to trust my guys every day of the week. On a week like this with the crowd noise, will having Travis in that offensive line be even more valuable than usual? Uh, yeah, sure you can say that. I mean, uh, it'll be hard to hear, but just knowing that uh, we're on the same page, um, he, he knows he knows where, to, where the mic is or what I'm thinking and where to get to. Uh, and these guys, um, with that crowd noise, I mean, you have to take that in effect. That communication has to be better than ever, uh, but we're ready for it. How close did you get to the state championship? Uh, my senior year, we got uh, third round. I think it's five rounds, something like that. So too, too short. Too short. Uh, what's your point in that? I just ask. I, know, I, I didn't know if y'all made the playoffs. I don't know how close you got. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Zach, Kellen was talking to us about when he sets up the plays for the week and how he talks through them with you, and he needs you to say some of these don't work because we can't use them all. Tell us a little bit about that process. Yeah, I mean, uh, you go into a, a, a game with a bunch of plays, and for Kellen, uh, he wants to call the right plays. He wants to call the plays that I'm comfortable running, that the offense is comfortable running. And uh, when you're looking down and you have 100-something plays, uh, it's hard to choose from. So it's just uh, – um, I was just going in there and having a conversation on Fridays of just saying, hey, feel really good about these. Uh, I don't really care for this one. I don't like this one. Uh, get it out. And it just gives him a sense of sense of knowledge and feel when we get into the game of in these windows or in these situations uh, what I like. And what I, and then at that point, when I get into the game, I know what to expect from it. You uh, you talking about spicy nuggets. And obviously that went viral. Is that just another example of just how comfortable and relaxed you are out on the field? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that. Um, or the fact that the ads work. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I just saw an ad and just said it. Didn't think much about it. Unfortunately, didn't get the nuggets. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was just a comment. But, I mean, yeah, during the timeout break, I mean, I'm always in the huddle, giving the guys the play, and then it's um, it's either talking about the drive or just talking about something, but it's about being loose, being us, having fun. Uh, it's all about us and that, that, that moment, and it was just yeah, a random thought. So there are people called Cowboys who gave them your people's number. Are you aware of that? Look up there. No, I'm not. I don't, I don't worry about those things during the season. But after the season, you'll have some spicy nuggets? You're telling me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk, I'll talk about that with my team after the season. <laughs> you said that you, Love them. You said you could, go, that you could go through a season with your contract situation unresolved and not lose your focus, and clearly that's been the case. Right. How, how are you able to compartmentalize in that way? Uh, simply, the reason we're having contract talks is because of what I do on the field. Uh, so that, that's the main focus, and that's my focus on everything I do. I mean, talk about the ads, the marketing, and all this stuff. Uh, I know realistically none of that happens if I'm not handling my business on the field. So for me, it's about taking care of that, being the best football player I can, and a lot of good things and great things happen uh, when you do that. You were talking after the – you said your interception in that last game was because you got a little too greedy. 
but you've talked before about your kind of risk reward ratio yeah. and what you look at in plays. Are you a little greedier overall? Have you pushed that ratio up a little bit as you understand offenses more, the offense more, and what you're seeing? Um, I think it's probably more understanding the defense uh, than it is the offense. I mean, I've been, I've had an understanding of this offense, but it's understanding the defense that I'm playing, understanding uh, where they need to be, understanding their matchups. Uh, that allowed me to be that way when I see a certain guy on this guy of uh, wanting to throw it or knowing the weakness in their zone of, hey, I can risk this throw because uh, they're light there, whatever it may be. Uh, it's more of just aware of the D. So is it fair to say you're more opportunistic now than you were your first three years? Yeah, sure. Just, no, it, it, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, it's it's growth. I mean, definitely just getting better. And um, you say it's risk. I say hey, it's the right read, and that's just where the ball, the ball goes. So, I mean, um, it's, I don't necessarily go out there and right before I'm about to throw it, oh, this is a risky one. I just let it rip and I play within the game. What, to what degree do you feel like the offense has been fit and customized for your skill set? I don't know. I mean, I don't look into that stuff. I take the playbook and the plays that they give me, learn them, and then go out there and just try to execute them the best I can, whether it was as a rookie, year two, year three, or right now. So, I mean, uh, just fortunate everything's going well. It's all fitting, uh, and we're getting these guys in open space and, and making plays. But... Um, hard for me to say, to say exactly. Greg, how do you think Zeke mentor younger running backs can help their transition? However, nonstop, every day at practice, every day in the on the film room. If you go in the film room or we're uh, watching film or, or installing the offense, it's Zeke with two young backs on each side of him. Um, so at that point, that shows the trust that uh, Coach Brown has in Zeke and just handling his business, but knowing as well that uh, Zeke can coach other guys. Uh, and he doesn't fall short of doing that each and every day, whether it's a drill, whether it's a rapid practice, or whether it's in the film room. Uh, and those guys accept it, uh, and it's, it's going to pay off. you got uh, 14 completions over 20 yards, I think, for nine different guys. So you lead the league in, quote, unquote, air yards uh, per pass, so to speak. Do you, do you know those numbers? What do those numbers mean? And what is that saying about you and this offense this year? Yeah, I don't necessarily know those numbers. Uh, but I think it just says, I mean, this offense is working. As I just said, I think things are fitting, things are clicking. Um, staying, staying within the offense, getting it to the guys, getting it to the to the right read, really, uh, and allowing those guys to go make plays. But uh, we can't get there if those guys don't get open in the offensive line and protect. So it's just been a good fit. And it's going to something we're going to build off of and keep getting better. Smart. You're not too much on the setting of the game, but for kids growing up in Louisiana to see you back on this stage, is there something special about them having that opportunity to see that you've gotten this going? Yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, I believe that I'd be playing playing in this game, whether it was in high school in the state championship or like I am today. Uh, so yeah, I hope, I hope those kids back home in Louisiana see that, see somebody that uh, they can aspire after and, and try to go be better then, uh, and one day be playing in the stadium for those guys, for us, or uh, for any any other NFL team. So um, yeah, just small town guy who, who's worked his ass off and uh, ended up making it to the Superdome. We asked Demarcus yesterday about the defense's success on third downs, and he said credit the offense for getting ahead and making the teams play behind. How much pride do you take in giving the defense that? Yeah, huge. I think those guys should take a lot of pride in the fact that we know we can go out there and don't have to be greedy. And uh, sometimes on the third and long, you know, you just take it and know the defense is going to do their job. Uh, we've been playing really good complimentary football. Uh, simple as that. The times we have been good, they've been really good uh, and vice versa. When they're, when they're not, uh, not their best, we've been able to pick them up. And when you're able to do that, uh, play complimentary football, you'll win a lot of games. So we just got to keep uh, continue doing that. Is this a mirror's reach big game? Um... I don't know how you, how you dictate that. Uh, every game's a measuring stick. I mean, every game, these are NFL teams. These are guys that get paid, coaches they get paid to. Um, you can look at, everybody can look back at these last three weeks and say, oh, look at this record of this or that, and say, oh, going into this week, it's it's this. But I guarantee we, we get this win. There's going to be some reason of why this one doesn't, uh, wasn't that special. So, uh, exactly. So, y'all have already, y'all have already wrote, the, wrote for after the game. Uh, <laughs> But for us, I mean, it's coming in and we have to measure ourselves. Right. And, and it's always about measuring where we are and how we need to take that next step to get better. And that's on offense, defense, uh, and the kicking game. So, yeah, sure, it's, it's a measuring. It's always going to be a measuring stick. Yeah, the bar always moves or there's another <laughs> hurdle put up after. Always, this. always. Take it one game at a time. Are there things you look back to last year's game that you can use, or is that not really as relevant? Yeah, sure, of course. I mean, you, we have a breakdown of films, obviously, their first three games and then the one from last year. So. Yeah, there's things that you look back at that game and know they did really well and they hurt us on offense. So how do we clean that up and get better? Or, hey, we did really well on that stuff against this this look. So let's try to get back to that. Uh, yeah, you have to turn on that game. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you.